welcome back to my channel, Adventures with Amira. For any of you guys that are familiar with my channel, I love the Dollar Tree. So I heard about this store in the UK called Poundland, and I was so excited to find one. When we got to Glasgow, there actually was one about a half a block from our hotel in this main little shopping area in central Glasgow. So when I went around the corner and saw Poundland, I was like, oh, they have one of those stores here. I want to see what's inside. So here's some footage of the stores that we went into and some of the items we looked at, and then I'll share with you guys what we bought in our haul when we come back. So they have groceries. These are mix and match, two for one pound. Cereal, drinks. Hmm, they have clothes here. Movies. These baby clothes are one pound, a pound fifty. Books for one pound. Now see, these are pretty. Look at these little laundry items. Vintage laundry apron, peg bag. So I guess that's like clothespins. And so then you would get a laundry apron to hold your clothespins as you hang the clothes. Lord Sheraton furniture polish. Well, that sounds very fancy, doesn't it? Well, I've seen some girls I watch in Canada use this. One pound. The toy that she found with all the play money. The Queen of England on there. How much is this? Is this one pound? Uh, I'm not sure. This is one pound. There's some beautiful little housewares they have here. Color changing lights for one pound. They have these beautiful little lanterns for one pound. Some beautiful mugs here. This one with the irises is beautiful. And I really like this marble one. That's really pretty. And these little dotted ones. Oh, this is cute. It's a little tea bag rest. These little coffee canisters are also a pound. Some more beautiful housewares. Okay, this little elephant is really beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. Now see, I would love to get these to take home, but they're really heavy because they're like a heavy ceramic pottery. But these are really pretty. Oh, I know the princess will want this yarn. This is gorgeous. Look how bright that is with the sparkles. The baby items. Oh my gosh, look at these little unicorn rattles. What? Oh. That is the cutest thing I've Makeup items. There's a light up mirror. A lot of makeup here that's one pound. Now those are gorgeous. Flawless, long-lasting foundation with UVA, UVB filters. For only a pound? That's really good. Look at the shower and bath gels with the unicorns on them. So cute. One of the things that I was interested to see were their makeup items, and they had quite a bit. I didn't expect such a nice variety of makeup, which I showed in the video, but I only picked up a few things. I saw they had this little BB cream. Actually, it's considered a long-lasting foundation with UVA and UVB filters. And that's what that looked like. 
kind of comes out fast, but it's a very, very creamy, like almost like whipped foundation. The coverage is pretty decent on it. Seems it. like a BB cream, but it definitely has a more full coverage to it. But it doesn't have any weird smell. It ends pretty well. It's pretty moisturizing because I do have dry skin. It didn't cause any breakouts or anything. So I think that this is one of the best deals that this I've This is found. the brand that they carry there called Makeup Gallery. Gorgeous, flawless foundation. So I'm interested to try this. The color that I got was Cool Porcelain. I did notice in the UK that they carry a lot more shades for us fair skinned girls. Here in America, everybody's all about getting their tan on. And so for us that are just naturally more fair, which right now I'm pretty tan from being outside washing the car the other day with the kids. Um, Normally I'm so fair that it is very difficult to find foundation. So I was very excited about that. I'm, I'm interested to see how this works on my skin. And then I needed some stuff just for basically makeup remover that was a little bit better for the mascara that I had. So I bought some of these little pads here. This is also the same brand makeup gallery. It got a little beat up in the luggage, but these come in two separate little packs like this. And these are actually very soft cotton rounds. I was really happy with these compared to the ones that I normally buy at Target, and these were only one pound, which is a little over a dollar. 150 round cotton wool cosmetic pads. So it's just pure cotton, and they're really soft and strong, and they don't kind of leave lint on your face, so I was glad to find this. And then they had this little Garnier micellar water, so I use this at home, a different one, so I went ahead and picked this up. And then this is a new brand I had not seen before. The Charles Worthington Takeaway Sunshine Protector. It's a leave-in spray that's a protector for my hair. Like if you get highlights or something like that, or just in general to kind of protect it from UV damage. And I had not seen this brand before, so I went ahead and picked up the sample size for a pound. On to food items that we found there. My husband actually found these for me and said, I think you'll like these. And I was like, wafer biscuits i'm not sure about this what i love them the kids loved them we bought two or three packs of these and they're all gone this is the last one and this is what they look like so this is a six pack of these and they are covered in toasted coconut when you break them apart they actually are more like a nougat in the middle and these are actually made in glasgow scotland so they're actually a scottish food but they are so good and they're very filling they're very different than i thought they would be you know how like when we have wafers in the u.s and you break them apart and they're kind of crispy and they're more hard these are more chewy in the center which is what i like about these the most but if you get a chance to try some of these they have them in a bunch of different flavors they're just caramel logs they don't really taste like caramel though they taste more like chewy coconut kind of like a macaroon would taste a coconut macaroon and then they had these amazing Mr. Kipling cakes. Now, I've never heard of Mr. Kipling cakes, and I don't know why, because they really should sell these in America. They are amazing. These are called French Fancies. They had several different types. One night we went after dinner, we told the kids, just pick one thing you wanna to try tonight for dessert. And this is the thing that my daughter picked. And actually one of these we used as a serving. They're probably about this big. They come in like those little individual cupcake wrappers like when you're having a party and you put out little dainty french cakes for tea parties and things and these things are absolutely amazing the pink ones taste like a really specialized wedding cake with a little bit of lemon zest in there and then my daughter said there was a lemon one also i didn't get to try that one her and my son ate that and then the chocolate ones are like genuine chocolate flavor like if you made homemade icing and put the chocolate on there they're delicious my kids were like, we need to find more of these. I tried to look these up on Amazon, and I think they're about $8 a box. So if any of my UK friends <laughs> would like to send my children some of these, I could send you some money um, to try to send these. These are amazing. I don't know where you can find them, if you can find them in the U.S. But these say that they're carefully baked in the U.K. by Premier Foods. And these were only one pound a piece. It says dainty sponge fancies with a delicious vanilla topping drenched in soft fondant icing. But their fondant icing tasted amazing. I know a lot of times in America when you have the, the harder fondant icing, it's not really good to eat. Sometimes it's kind of doesn't have the best flavor, but these were amazing. No artificial flavors, no artificial colors, and no hydrogenated fat in these either. So 
Obviously, some of their foods are a little bit healthier than what we have offered here in America. Another thing that we found there was this little unicorn. This was the little stuffed animal she chose as one of her little presents. He's very soft in the tail and stuff, and then he has this little iridescent unicorn horn, but like I said, he was only one pound, and my daughter loves him. Oh, I found one other food item. One of the things my husband picked up, this is a strawberry one. They're kind of like a granola bar. They had them in chocolate as well, and my husband and my kids absolutely love these things. Those came in either a four or six pack for one pound. And then also, my son, they threw away the package I was gonna show you. They actually have hazelnut candy bars called Topic Bars. They're in a red package, and I think you get four bars for one pack for a pound and they taste like Nutella candy bars, like a Nutella Snickers bar or something, but with hazelnuts instead of peanuts. Oh, they're amazing. Um, I barely got one bite of one before the, they were devoured, but apparently you can get those over there as well, and they were so young. Another thing my daughter picked out were some beautiful yarns that I found, and these are gorgeous. I love all three of these. They were three for two pounds, so that was a pretty good deal. They're really soft, but they have sparkles made in. I really love the purple, navy blue, and I've been working with my daughter on her crocheting, and she's gotten quite fast with crocheting, so she was excited to find these. And then for me, for souvenirs, I found a few little treats for mommy. I had my friend Dainty over in Ireland, and she she's always posting the cutest stuff from Poundland. I'm like, is this like a Dollar Tree over there? I have got to get there. Hello. Such and a few of her videos inspired me to look for cute items there as well. They had so many beautiful little ceramic bird houses and things like that, but I just knew I couldn't bring too much of that stuff back in the luggage because I'm pretty sure they would have destroyed it. If you saw how they were handling our bags getting off the plane, oh, they wouldn't have made it. So if you get a chance to go and you have a way to ship it back, they had some beautiful items. But one of the things I found were these little six packs of teaspoons and I thought these were so pretty because they have the little polka dot kind of design embossed on there and for only one pound that's a really good deal and then finally my favorite souvenir that I found was this adorable little tea bag rest I think this is so cute and for only one pound that is an amazing deal. I would have bought this at many of the tea shops or little coffee shops that we visited because it's just so quintessential UK. So anything that has to do with tea reminds me of the United Kingdom anyway. And I thought this was so sweet. And you could actually use these to like decorate. You could actually probably mount them to hang them on a wall or something like that. But I thought this was so pretty. You could also decorate it like if you wanted to paint these or something. This would be a really good souvenir to bring back, especially if you know how to paint or emboss something or even vinyl to do like individual little souvenirs for your family and bring one for everybody and just put Scotland on there or something like that. And for only one pound, you really can't beat that. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I have more videos coming about our adventures in Scotland, other places that we shopped. I have a Disney UK video coming up because they have so much new Stitch merchandise that we don't have here yet in the US. And we bought some of that and I'll be sharing that with you as well as just other stores that we went to, what we ate in Scotland, and all of our castle adventures. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye. Dream that you would change my world